Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be. On YouTube there are lots of videos which will show you how to use Fee Lookup. A lot of them however use quite complicated methods which make it difficult to learn how to use Fee Lookup. So what I'd like to do is to direct this particular upload to those of you who may be a little new to Excel uh, the niche that uh, I like to work in is for learners and we're going to look at VLOOKUP we're going to look at how VLOOKUP works where the data is in the same sheet as we have here or where the data is in a different sheet as we have there or indeed where the data is in a different file as it is there None of it's difficult, but there are one or two little rules that we need to remember. So let's go back to VLOOKUP1, the name of this file, the other one was VLOOKUP2. Now, what I'm going to do, I want to be able to type an ID in there and have the first name, the surname and the salary show in those three cells. And you'll notice at the top of the information that I have numbered the columns. Now you don't have to do that but for learning purposes you'll see why I have numbered the columns. So let's kick it off. First of all I'm going to want to be able to type an ID in cell C12 as I mentioned which will show me the information from the array above and set the details out in those three cells. So the VLOOKUP formula will go first of all into this cell and I'll type equal VLOOKUP and open a bracket and I want to it to look in C12 whatever the number in C12 is I type a comma now the data is in an array in those four columns right and the information for the first name <coughs> excuse me is in column number two so we always show the column number counting from the left comma I always use the word false because false takes care of situations that are not in uh, ascending order in this case I could have gotten away without using the word false but I always put it in anyway it doesn't do any harm to do so and I'll close the bracket now a very important thing here is that the cell references that I've used here need to be made absolute by clicking in the middle of them and we'll see why shortly puts dollar signs dollar sign dollar sign now when I control enter if I type a <coughs> a um, ID in there let's say ID 20 it shows me Mary so that's fine now the reason that I used the absolute references here is that I want those cells to always be referred to when I copy the formula so all I need to do now is to do now is to copy across and of course I'm always seeing Mary so what I need to do is to click on that cell and I notice that the column reference is 2 well the surname is in column 3 so all I've got to do is change that to a 3 and when I control enter there is the name similarly this one is still referring to column 2 so I simply need to change that one to column 4 and there we go now let's try one other one let's try uh, ID number 50 enter the 50 beautiful shows me Terry Hayes 50,000 so what VLOOKUP does it brings in information from a set of data by counting the columns from the left to match up with the question that you've asked in column one that's right. now let's look at um, where the information is in a different sheet uh, I've got the same information I've copied across here to sheet number two but Excel for fortunately takes care of all the references for me as we shall see so the different sheet I'm going to say equal VLOOKUP so we start off in the same way 
I wanted to look up what's in C15 in this case C15 but now I'm going to go to sheet 2 and I'm going to drag through those cells and you'll notice that Excel in the formula bar has put a reference into sheet 2 uh, followed by an exclamation mark which separates the sheet name from the cell references comma the information was in column 2 comma false close the bracket and when I press that I will see that if I type in let's say 20 no problem up pops Mary now remember that if I want to copy that formula across I have to make the cell references absolute so I do that by clicking in the cell and pressing F4 in each cell reference now what I can do is simply to copy now all I need to do is copy the formula across uh, do that again copy the formula across and now I need to change that column reference to a 3 and that column reference to a 4 so you can see why I've numbered the columns and there we go so the um, formulas are now referring to sheet 2 what about if the data is in a different file Let's assume that we didn't have any of this information here, but we had it in a, another file like that. So what I can do in the first sheet, in the first file, is to type a formula, no problem, equal VLOOKUP, and I want the information to look up what I'm going to type into C18, comma, and now I need to go to the second file, drag through the whoops, drag through the information, and you'll notice that Excel has included in square brackets the name of this file, sheet one, and the references there are automatically given the dollar signs where the data is in another file. So comma it's certainly in column number two false close the bracket press enter let's type in a reference remember different file altogether number 30 will say sue looks good so now what I'm going to do is to make that look up there absolute by pressing F4 after I click into it the other uh, cells have automatically been given the dollar signs because they're in another file it's the way Excel works so now all I need to do again is to drag across click on that cell the surname is in column 3 looks good this one the information is in column number 4 so that, people, is how Excel handles a VLOOKUP. Not difficult, a little bit of practice involved, as with all things which are new. So this uh, uh, file you can download for free for practice sake from uh, the uh, address in the description below. And uh, good luck. Remember, it's all to do with practice. Bye for now.